Let's talk about Concord. Everyone's talking about Concord. Yes. An important update on Concord. This is from the official PlayStation blog. Uh, Concord fans, we've been listening closely to your feedback since the launch of Concord on PlayStation 5 and PC and want to thank everyone who has joined the journey uh, aboard the North Star. Your support and the passionate community that has ground uh, that has ground around the game has meant the world to us. However, while many uh, qualities of the experience resonated with players, we also recognize that other aspects of the game and our initial launch didn't land the way we intended. Therefore, at this time, we have decided to take the game offline beginning September 6th, 2024 and explore options, including those that will better reach our players. Uh, while we determine the best the best path ahead, Concord sales will cease immediately and we will begin to offer full refunds for all the gamers who have purchased the game on PC or PS5. If you purchase the game for the PlayStation 5 from the PlayStation Store or PlayStation Direct, a refund will be issued back to your original payment method. Consumers who purchased from other digital storefronts will also be refunded. More information about refunds from Steam and Epic can be found below. Uh, once refunded, players will no longer have access to the game uh we will keep you updated and thank you again to those uh thank you again to all the free gunners who have joined us in the concord galaxy so that's crazy yeah so this game came out mm -hmm. august 23rd yeah and it is being removed september 6th that's insane that's <laughs> so fast yeah that's how much this game bombed that is that is exactly two weeks. Yeah. That is a two week lifespan on a video game. Yeah. That's, on a major first party yeah. video game. Yeah. That is completely unheard of. So yeah. I think that might be the record for the fastest AAA game uh, uh, life support pull. Yeah. You know, that might yeah. be the, the quickest death of a game. Mm -hmm. uh, I was trying to look this up. It's hard to look up. Uh, but an article from the gamer had like a list of like quickest deaths of live service games. Yeah. Uh, and none of them were quick. The only one yeah. that was quick was this one, uh, Radical Heights. Remember Radical yeah. Heights? This was Cliff Belinsky's uh, uh, like yeah. PUBG style game. This lasted around one month. And that is still longer than Concord. Yeah. Uh, and this was a little smaller than Concord too. Um. So that's insane. Yeah. Uh, also, this is a very expensive thing to do. To, yes. to 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 put all that time and money into a game and all of us just yank it after two weeks. Yeah, and issue refunds. Yeah. Like good on them for issuing refunds. Yeah. Uh everybody just got a free game. Yeah. Uh but that costs them money. It's not mm -hmm. just like an even exchange. Like like they have to pay the refund, yeah. you know. That going through Steam, like Steam's keeping their thirty percent. Yeah, you know. <laughs> So, uh, I had a Verge, uh, I found a Verge article that, uh, gives, just gives some specs, uh, estimated sales, uh, are under 25,000, uh, Concord also managed to hit an all time peak of 697 players on steam, which was lower than the launch peak of Lord of the Rings Gollum. Whoa. Yeah. That was a meme game. That was a meme game. So that's yeah. the peak. That, that was people the, played it on Steam? Yes. Uh, concurrently, like all at once. Yes. Okay. Which was lower than the peak amount of people who played the worst game of 2023. <laughs> I wonder how long it would take you to get into a game of a Concord? Concord because no one's playing it. Yeah. Well, especially now that, it, well, I'm sure there's probably some crazy people who are like, oh, uh, we got to play Concord. Save uh, Concord. I'm in the Twitch directory. <laughs> I'm in the Twitch directory right now. Let's see. D guns. He's in the game. I've there never actually watched the game. I yeah, I don't know anything about it beyond like the initial like trailers for it, like the the ones that turned everybody off to the game to begin with. Mm -hmm. And I think that's that was the problem with the game. For all accounts, like the game is like whatever. It's another live service shooter. But the fact that it's another live service shooter that is clearly trying to be, you know, a Guardians of the Galaxy style fun romp, 
you know, those are a dime a dozen. We got plenty of those that do everything that Concord does better. So there is no need, you know, for another game like this to come out, especially when Sony has other games like that, like Marathon coming out and they own Destiny and, you know, what else, whatever else is there. All of those that you just mentioned are doing great. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it looks like everyone's in a game. It looks like right. the, the games are going fine. Also, I'd imagine most people are playing this on PlayStation, so like yeah. the Steam numbers aren't that important. Right. But still sold pretty bad. Well, it's the, also interesting that they made it a paid game yeah. when it should probably have been free to play. Right. You know, you say this, you know, it's a PlayStation game, so like that, you know, maybe the PlayStation number should be what's important. But you think about Hell Divers, yeah. which exploded on PC. Yeah. So clearly there's some hope that like, you know, the new strategy of releasing your online games on PS5 and PC would repeat the success of Hell Divers, but you know, just because Hell Divers did it doesn't mean that Concord's going to do it. Right. Yeah. I think Hell Divers was a special type of magic that uh this isn't going to capture. No. At all. No. Um, so also notably, uh, I saw on threads, remember threads? Oh yeah. I remember threads. Wario 64 threaded. Uh, he got this email right after the, the death of Concord. Yeah. Uh, don't sit this one out. Wario 64, <laughs> you were checking out Concord. We can't say, uh, we blame you. You're just a few clicks away from making it yours. So what are you waiting for? Uh, I believe it was also Wario 64 who... Uh, posted on Twitter. Remember Twitter? <laughs> uh, the Concord Special Edition controller is still available. It's right here. Ooh, should probably snap. Uh, uh, that's ugly as fucking all hell. Let it, me see that. I think it kind of looks cool. <laughs> it's like got that like seventies retro future look. Eh, it's no, I kind of no. I kind of no. like it. Yeah. Uh, Eighty five dollars though is way too much. I mean, for, it's gonna go a, on eBay for, for a, a meme lot. controller. They ain't, you ain't going to be able to get that soon. I know. So, yeah, it's an interesting choice that they decided to sell this thing instead of just making it free to play. Yeah. Um, I mean, well, to be fair, the blog post does say, at this time, we've decided to take the game offline and explore options, including uh, those that will better reach our players. So that kind of, like, I guess leaves the door open to bring it back as a free-to-play game. But, like, maybe who's going to... If nobody was willing to buy it who's gonna want to play it for free you know yeah um yeah this this also brings up another question of like uh <laughs> games preservation because yeah. uh you're never gonna be able to play this game again well i did see people go and buy the physical version of concord just to have you know yeah. but like not that that's gonna do anything yeah what are you gonna do uh -huh. that by taking it offline they should open it up for public servers or, or, or yeah something. um I mean, but whatever. Uh, we all saw this coming. This game looked like shit anyway. Yeah, but I mean, like two weeks, that's not enough time to like even try to make the game worthwhile. I don't you know, know what the hope was. I don't I know think if there was, was any hope I think here. it was uh, Warframe who said like, you know, live service games need to like survive, need to like last for a while yeah. in order for like for the game to get good, to build a player base to so, like you know, add features that like people would want to see added, you know, but we're seeing more and more like the, like the live service model just isn't not only is it not sustainable, like, you know, it costs too much money, you know, for the bet of a bigger return. So in April of last year, mm -hmm. uh, Sony made a statement that they had purchased firewalk studios. Yeah. And we had talked about it on the podcast yes. in April of last year. Uh, and I watched it back. <laughs> and uh, it was unclear for a bit who Firewalk Studios even was or what they did. Right. We thought it was a support studio, but it turned out it wasn't a support studio. Because mm -hmm. Google got it wrong. Google was wrong about what Firewalk Studios were. Right. And it turns out it was ex Bungie developers. Okay. Uh, so... I guess Sony was, uh, they must have been working on this game already because a year. Is... They said that they've been working on this game for eight years. And that's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Sony saw X Bungie developers, I guess, and yeah. they saw live service and they were like, all right, we got to, you know, grab this up and, yeah. and, and, and make it, make it a big deal. 
Uh, and that didn't work out. Yeah. So it's not looking good for uh, anybody related to Bungie. Yeah. <laughs> I think also, too, like this is, you know, buying Firewalk and releasing a live service game. This date, this was part of the Jim Ryan administration at Sony. He made a big push to like put out a lot of live service games. And we're starting to see, we're finally starting to see the end of that. Cause I think once he left, Sony realized like, that's not, that's not what we do. And that's not good for business long-term, but like it has really crippling effects. You know, this game didn't do well. So they're pulling it, which probably means their firewalk is going to suffer massive layoffs or get shut down completely. Yeah. And it's really not entirely their fault. Yeah. Um, I- I'm less skeptical about, uh, live service games i think the big issue with live service games is that a lot has to go into them and it's very easy for it all to fall apart yeah it's very easy for it to be a huge waste of money and for it to fail miserably yeah uh and that's the problem yeah and 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 but when you have one that works it it's insane and makes a whole lot of money and that's why companies are willing to put everything into it which probably isn't the right move no the move is probably like what the warframe dev said and and do your uh, uh, bare minimum and then work on it and right. tweak it and fix it out. Right now you have Deadlock, which is uh, Valve's uh, free-to-play hero mm-hmm. shooter, uh, which I guess you could consider a live service game if you're calling Concord a live service game. Um, and that's free and it's in beta and it is rough as all hell. Yeah, But they're working on it and they're going to tweak it and they're going to make it better based right. on everybody's feedback. Uh, so that will hopefully make it grow. And that's not easy either. Yeah. But that's a way so that you don't have to blow all of your resources and then fire everybody at the studio when things don't work. You yeah. have to put, you have to massage it. You need to put some things into it at, like post launch because it's a live service game. Also of note, remember that Amazon anthology show, Secret Level, about the video yeah. game? There was supposed to be a Concord episode. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Is there still going to be a Concord episode? As far as I know. I mean, they... Sure, they already uh, made yeah, it. Yeah, they probably made <laughs> yeah. it. That's that's weird to make a whole TV show around a game that hasn't come out yet. Yeah. Well, I'm sure that was supposed to be like big marketing money. Yeah, they probably paid Yeah, we, we're going to promote our game. And that's another problem. Yeah. Sony put too, way too much fucking stock in this game. Yeah. Well... Anyway, uh, that's Concord. Yeah. Uh, sad. I don't listen. I don't like when games do bad. Yeah. I mean, just because <laughs> you know the game didn't look interesting to us doesn't mean that like it deserves to get pulled or you know the devs are in danger of like getting in trouble for something that is ultimately you know not their fault. I would have liked. I would like to see Sony put some effort into fixing the game. Like, yeah. Like making it more worth it to people. Yeah. But, but like, I don't know what they would do. The game, it kind of looks just the whole concept of the game looks yeah. terrible. <laughs> so, you know, there, but I mean like two weeks, two weeks is insane. not enough time. Like yeah. two weeks for a live service game is nothing. Like that is not enough time to gauge like player experience, sales, you know, usability over time, any of that shit. Yeah. That's groundbreaking yeah uh having a turn and it's that it's that a quick. bad precedent yeah you know suicide squad is still up and running and playable <laughs> it's not selling well they just laid off a bunch of people at rocksteady yeah. but like that game's still out there they are yeah. at least still trying to make you know f- chicken soup out of chicken shit as the saying goes <laughs> i've never heard that <laughs>